Hello, it's me, my coffee, and YouTube. Let's get started this video commentary. Hello and welcome. Today we got semi-finals Skullcrow against Ectalion on Holland. It's going to be 1v1 from a 7 day tournament. And we got Ectalion at the top and in the bottom, already left and right side, we got Skullcrow. So I guess that this replay may look good on paper. We got Dwarf against uh, Goblins, uh, Mindshafts against Tunnels. We'll see how it's going to be. Let's check the power points of those players. We get Cave Bats for Ectalion and Scarecrow doesn't yet choose the power point, but I guess it's going to be running call because he's turned with Half Warriors and Mineshaft near his base. Really good macro hero with structures. So here we go. Cave Bats right after bat, spotting everything that Dwarf was about to do, and he's getting to scout those builders too, I guess. He knew that there is going to be left and right side. He's going with tunnel forward, also creating the goblin cave in his home. In the meantime, still trying to scout the dwarven builders. And there may be a mine shaft for dwarf, but it's going to be risky. The pikes are coming up, the mine shaft is coming up, so it's maybe a really fast game. I guess Ectalion is aware of this, this is why he built uh, his own tunnel in the top, he's going to scout with uh, Grabines, if not with Grabines it's going to be with a builder, so I guess, yes, he just spotted, so it seems that uh, this, this appearance over there, oh my god, don't tell me, Ranico will be used here, and this tunnel could be here actually, this builder will not be scouted yet, First battalion of goblins on the battlefield, and if they even creep check this troller over there, it's going to be huge disadvantage on the dwarf side. He got the builder, he will try to create something. Garden battalion appear on the battlefield for the dwarven player, and isn't going to be a creep check or tunnel, or my child will be destroyed. I don't know, maybe a creep check. Uh, no, not. Packs are moving forward, but I will get the treasures. It's like 500 resources up there, and it's a level three almost for the pikes after the running hole. Mm, too late, too late. Goblin was too late to creep anything over there and get some treasures out of this. But there is another tunnel and another goblin warrior battalion, so that's pretty decent macro out of Ectalion over there in order to split those units, deal as much damage as possible, receiving level 2.5 for the other goblin warrior battalion. And in the base, he's going with another spider pit. It's going to be spider pit on level 2. This is kind of different um, from things that we used to see uh, in Dwarf against uh, goblins. Most of the time, it's uh, Fisher. Trolls with a stick, trolls with the tree, and then you are going to do some damage. This little goblin over here, he's pretty decent. He may take uh, the outpost for the goblin control. Another guardian battalion. Let's check the dwarven base at the moment. And the dwarven base only infantry archer range will be seen from the scarecrow as well. They're on the side, on the downside, we can see the tunnels or other mine shafts uh, getting into the place. So yes, Guardians and Pikes um, on level 3 moving forward. While those Guardians are not able to clear up those Goblin Warriors before they took down the Mineshaft. And the Lonely Goblin is trying to take the in for his own control. And he will not be able to do it. Hobbits take him down before it's even happened. And I guess... Yes, Scarecrow just realized that there is, there is a Spider Pit. And the Spider Pit will go down. Uh, only one spider rider button appeared. Running could be used right away to just take down the spider a bit faster. Um, intentionally, but uh, it shouldn't be used to be honest. He could do it without the running call. Nonetheless, nice done. Uh, spider pit is going down. Only one battalion of spider riders over there. Not many goblin warriors though, also. And the goblin cave is going to be added to goblin composition. Of course. There we go, cave bats and spider riders on the defensive stance, pikes on the preoccupied formation. So the guardians are dealing damage over there to be honest. And on the other side another battalion of guardians on level 2 with charge attack. 
on aggressive position. Ox flowers and another battalion of pikes, and this is the composition that dwarf will throw into the uh, onto the dwarf and or to, onto the goblin's base. Goblin got um, goblin archer strength to deal damage with poison arrows. Not that successful, but those uh, guardians are in the aggressive stance, so they get more damage than uh, they deal at the moment while they're walking. Five power points for the dwarf player. Evacuation of uh, axfrows and pikes out of the uh, mine shaft, and there are two more tunnels and one more mine shaft near the base of the goblin. So goblin is in really bad shape at the moment. He got those goblin warriors over there, but uh, as we can see, those uh, banneries are trying to get away near the mine shaft, uh, trying to get back. Fisher will be added into composition, and this is a good pick, but uh, I guess it's too late. Uh, in the meantime, we got to realize that uh, hobbits are appearing out of this inn. They're trying to get the uh, top side uh, clear up. And uh, for some weird reason, we got Goblin, a uh, Golem on the battlefield. In the tournament matches, it shouldn't actually happen. We shouldn't see uh, go Golem on the battlefield. Herb will be added, so the units will heal themselves, and the Fisher will try to do some damage now. Dwarf allows Goblin to do some damage towards uh, the mine shafts, which is really, really weird. Five power points against seven, and definitely Dwarf is in better position for sure. This Bunny Carry should be near the herb, healing itself up. Another wave of poison arrows, and dealing some damage, not killing the entire battalion, but I guess those those units should be near the herb, healing themselves. Preoccupied formation to tank damage is not a bad idea. Throw on the may be on the battlefield but on the downside as we can see spider riders spider riders and three battalions of goblins trying to deal damage goblin warriors uh, goblin cave is going down war chan being used and i think those structures are going down for sure let's check the amount of power points over there we got eight power points we got wahab will be through down and only if those gob uh, goblin spider riders will be killed off this is going to be a big deal but it seems they're going to run away and the goblin warriors will try to do damage we got 5 power points, uh, 10 power points for the goblin player he cleared up entire base of the goblin player also there are lots of units of himself so I guess it's going to be GG Hobbit Alliance summon will be used already and this goblin cave will go down to the fortress as well and this is it, this is GG Ekten lost the first game against Scarecrow in the semi-finals for a 7 day tournament Oh. Pretty decent game, but pretty fast forward as it is almost all the time of goblins against dwarves. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this brief commentary and see you soon. Bye bye.